Hi, in this video I want to talk to you about some simple home techniques to assist with a hiatal hernia. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe with Two Minutes to Better Health. Well, ultimately many people struggle with acid reflux or GERD or that constant discomfort in the chest after they eat and that burning or maybe that kind of acid feeling up into their throat. And in many cases what happens is the normal anatomy starts to deviate and you can see where the esophagus comes down to about where the, the diaphragm is here and the stomach sits below it. And there's normally a valve there, a sphincter that actually opens and closes. So when you swallow food, it opens, closes thereafter, and all the acids in the stomach can you know, gurgle around in there and have no issues going up into the chest. But over time, things can happen where there's a weakness in the diaphragm, the stomach is constantly full from overeating, and maybe when we're sitting that it's actually pushing upwards. Or if a woman's pregnant in many cases because of the baby putting pressure in there, the stomach will actually start to push up above the diaphragm. So when the sphincter closes, it actually squeezes off the stomach above the diaphragm. So when you eat, it's actually containing food and acid above that, and it's spitting up into the chest, often causing that acid reflux. And long-term uh, issues with this can cause Barrett's esophagus and, and can become a pre or a cancerous situation. So very significant to understand that. But there are some simple at-home things that you can do to assist this. Now one of the first things to do is to drink a small glass of water, about six or eight ounces, okay? So put a little bit of water so that as it falls down here into the stomach area, it actually puts a little bit of weight in that, like a balloon with a little bit of fluid in it. And then basically put your arms up like this at about you know, mid stance and then go up onto your toes and drop down to your heels. As long as this doesn't hurt you to do it, do that like two or three times, just nice relaxed. And then that's going to cause that water to jostle down and actually pull this down out of that position, often rolling out of that and letting the, the diaphragm close again in a more normal position. If you complete that and do a few deep diaphragmatic breaths like what you're doing is you're causing the diaphragm to contract around that and it'll actually help to see that in place better. So that's a fantastic approach and I definitely recommend you do that. Additionally, I recommend a simple at home kind of uh, manipulation where just below the ribs, especially on the left side here, okay, over towards you know the ribs that kind of angle down below here, I, I recommend you basically push into that area and pull down, actually helping to encourage sliding that down out of the diaphragm area. So I recommend using your thumb, putting it right below that and reinforcing it with the other hand and pushing in and down until often people feel this like little almost like clunk of that stomach sliding out of there and it can actually feel very comfortable when this is done. You don't have to push really hard but if you can relax your abdomen when you do this that'll pull down. Do it like two or three times. The best way to do it is to do it on an um, out breath. So you breathe in, your diaphragm drops down, okay, so the diaphragm would come down and then on the out breath as you're doing that pull down, so you're gonna have that opposing position. You're pulling down, diaphragm's coming up, often slides into place. By doing this over time, it can be, make major differences in improving this, and your, your stomach and your esophagus and the, uh, the area around the diaphragm can start to heal. And in a week, two, sometimes people can feel significant differences with this. It only takes a few times in other cases. So I definitely recommend doing this at home. Pl apply this, tell your friends and family about it. And in many cases, if you're sitting and you, you find yourself feeling that, that feeling, stand up in the middle, stretch back a little bit, pull that down a little bit, let that slide out of position. You often find that burning sensation in the chest will go away right away. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Look forward to seeing you in a future video. Have a great day.